between 1907 and 1980s, roof shingles, as well as the joint compound that was holding these building materials together, were manufactured with asbestos. With numerous convenient properties such as resistance to fire and electricity, asbestos was seen as the perfect mineral to be added to roof shingles and joint compounds. While companies had been aware of dangers of asbestos exposure since 1920, they continued to employ the toxic mineral for their own financial gain. Asbestos was widely available and very cheap at the time. Asbestos cement sheets were also manufactured with asbestos and were also known as fibrous cement sheets. If you live in a house built before 1980 that was not remodeled, chances are you have asbestos in the construction products on your roof. If you are planning to remodel your house by replacing your roof, it is not a good idea to remove the roof construction materials on your own. This will inevitably lead to exposure and environmental contamination. You should work with a certified team of professionals who specialize in removing asbestos materials safely. This way, you will not create a health hazard and the chances of asbestos exposure will be minimal. While there is no certain way to recognize asbestos roofing materials, you can send a sample to a lab for analysis. It will be able to tell you with certainty whether your roof contains asbestos or not. If your house was built before 1980, it is most likely that it has asbestos in the roof. If your roof is still in good condition and does not show signs of damage, it is better to leave it as it is. It will not pose a health threat to you or to your family, particularly because it is located outside of the house. With wear and tear due to weather, the roof may become very damaged at a certain point, which is why it may be a good idea to have it removed by a team of professionals and subsequently replaced with a new and safe one.